Okay, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. This is my first G4G, and I'm, I'm having a blast. Um, Ricardo Teixeira from the University of Houston, Victoria. I'm assistant professor of mathematics there. I'm going to be talking about uh, size statements and group theory. Um, so just a little bit of a group theory ideas. I imagine you have a clock, a wall clock, and then have all the, the numbers there. Um, well, well, if it, the hour hand is at nine o'clock, 12 hours from now, it's going to be a again at 9 o'clock. So we say that uh, uh, 12 works like a 0, okay? So for example, what's 8 plus 7? Well, you start at 8, and you go 7 steps. So you go 1, 2, 3, and if you go all the way to 7, after 7 steps, it's going to be back to number 3. So we say that uh, 8 plus 7 equals to 3 modulus uh, 12, okay? Um, what are the multiples of 3? if you actually just wanted to, to see some uh, multiples. Well, we start 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, but 9 plus 3 is 12, which is equal to 0 modulus uh, 12, and then you go back to 3. So it doesn't matter what you do, if you start just adding 3, you're going to be stuck at 0, 3, 6, and 9. Uh, similar thing happens with the multiples of 4. If you actually just want to see the multiples of 4, uh, you're going to get this. Uh, you're going to be stuck in 0, 4, and 8. Um, so we call this the orbit of an element. So what are the multiples of 5? 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 5 again is uh, uh, 15, modulus 12 is 3, 8. And then you see that uh, it's very similar to what uh, Raymond talked yesterday. Uh, you go all over the, the numbers before you go back to 0. And we say that uh, the orbit of number 5 is the whole set. Once I ask, well, what's the conjecture? Most people say, no, 3 and 4 divide 12, OK? But it's not quite, because if you actually see the multiples of 8, multiples of 8 are 8 plus 8 is 16, which is equal to 4. 4 plus 8 is 12. So it gets stuck on 0, 4, and 8. So the whole idea is because uh, uh, 5 and 12 have no common divisors, OK? Since this is get gathering for a gardener 13, Let's do the same thing with 13 elements. 13 is good because 13 is prime. So any number, we're going to be no, no divisors, no, no common divisors with 13 because 13 is prime. So for 13, will be the, the, my number 0. Okay, so I'm going to do the, the calculation modulus 13. And uh, any positive step will make the orbit to the entire z13. Okay? Well, the good thing about 13 is because we can actually replace these numbers with uh, the cards. Okay? So I'm talking about a, a magic trick involving cards. So uh, I can actually go and, and actually add every, uh, any step you want. And then after I go all of the, 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 the elements before I go back to number 0. And you can just take any step. So, and then you, you switch the, the, the suits in the chased format. So it's uh, clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. Clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. Okay? So, uh, if you actually see the literature in, in magic, uh, the Cy Staben, Cy Staben was uh, an American uh, magician, and, and this uh, sequence is named after him. Although this uh, Cy Staben wrote a book uh, with Cy Staben sequence, in the end of uh, the 1800. But that sequence was actually published in the 1500s by an Italian uh, magician. But uh, Cy Samuel received the, the credit. Uh, they used more uh, step three, and we're going to see why step three is so used. Um, you start with any card, let's say ace of clubs. You're going to go step three. So ace is one, plus three is four. And then the, the clubs, after clubs, have hearts. And then four of uh, Spade, 10, king, and then king plus 3 is 3. And then you actually continue moving this. And then you have the rest. So I'm not going to go and show. There are a lot of tricks. Once you organize your deck with this sequence, the tricks will be, OK? Uh, take a look at the bottom card. Then you know the, the top card. So for example, in this case, is the uh, jack of diamonds. So what's going to be the top card? You just add 3, because at this time, it's doing step equal to 3. 
And then, okay, jack is 11, plus 3 is 14. If I want to do modulus 13, I just remove 13 every time I go beyond 13. It's going to be 1. Since it's diamonds, we're going to do, after diamonds come clubs. So that's the first trick. I can do more. So if you actually observe every four cards, um, they actually are the same suit in decreasing order. This only happens if you have a step three. That's why it's so used for magician. So it's in decreasing order. So if you know the bottom card, well, let's say what's the position of six of, of, of diamonds. So you take the bottom card, you subtract the, actually the desired card. It's five. Since it's every four cards, the position of the card will be number 20. Okay? I put the, a paper in the gift exchange which I describe more mathematically. So this is the lemma. Uh, you have a position of a card. Let's now talk about the card of a position. So for example, position 13, 30, um, you know what? You take the number, previous number that is divisible by, by 4, and then you say that's it's 7. So uh, position 28 is 7 less than uh, jack of diamonds. So position 28 is 4 of diamonds, and then just add two more positions to get the 10 of hearts. And then we put this some more results in mathematical notation. Okay? Thank you. Uh, this trick will be also available in the book. I appreciate it.